Hi, and welcome along to AFTV Transfer Daily, the show that keeps you up to date with players that have been linked with a summer transfer move to Arsenal. The transfer window closes on the 5th of October. Time running out to get in those players that we would love to see at Arsenal. Show brought to you today by the Flick app. If you haven't already got this excellent app, make sure you download it right now. The link is in the description. Absolutely free. We did a poll on it yesterday, right? And um, that poll was about um, Hossim Owa, right? And uh, Thomas Partey, right? Who would you rather have at the club? I'll reveal that poll later on, but you can still vote on that. And we're going to be putting a new poll up on there today, which I would like everybody who's in this show today to go on and vote on. As I said, it's, it's absolutely free to download the app. Um, but I really want you to vote on this one. And I'm asking the question, were Arsenal right to cash in on Emmy Martinez? Were they right to cash in on Emmy Martinez? I want you to vote in that poll right now. Also, there's still time to enter. We've extended it slightly. Still time to enter the competition where you can win Arsenal's brand new third kit. So get in that real quick if you want to be entered for that as well. You've got to download the app. The link is in the description. But the question, as I said, were Arsenal right to cash in on Emmy Martinez? Martinez um, has been sold to Aston Villa um, for £20 million. Pounds. Ten years at the club, um, Emmy Martinez. Uh, we wished him all the best here on AFTV. Thanks very much to him for responding to that as well. And, um, you know, we, we said to him, listen, you've had, you've had a, you deserve every bit of success that's coming to you. And, you know, he can look back at his Arsenal career and he can be proud. All right, he had to wait a very, very long time before he got a start in birth. But you know what? He's left Arsenal with a winner's medal. He's left Arsenal with all the fans really happy at what he did for Arsenal. So he can be really pleased. And it just goes to show you sometimes that if you really work hard in football, and you know what, not just football, in anything, your rewards will come. It might take longer than you really want it to, but it will come. And Emmy Martinez, big move for him to Aston Villa and a good move for him as well. But as I said, I'm asking the question, were we right to cash in on him? Because there was a, you know, there were some fans that I was speaking to the other day that were a bit upset about it. They were saying, well, you know, why don't we keep two great goalkeepers? You know, got Leno, we got Martinez. Why are we selling him? We don't have to sell him, which is true. We didn't have to sell him because he's still got a couple of years left on his contract. So Arsenal didn't have to sell him. Um, however, they've chosen to, to get the money to possibly to use on other targets. It's whether that's going to be used on other targets. Do you trust the current regime to use it on other targets? That's another question. But I really want to find out. I'm intrigued to find out where you guys stand on it. I know where I stand on it. I'm not really going to... You probably have picked it up in previous shows, but I'm not really going to reveal. I want you to vote in that poll. Where do you stand on it? Where Arsenal, right or wrong, to sell such a quality goalkeeper, Emmy Martinez. Now, it looks like they've already identified uh, a replacement. Um, we've spoken before about other targets that they've been looking at, but this guy came on the radar yesterday, and his name is Runa Alex Runison. Um, He currently plays uh, for Dijon over there in France, and he's valued at about £1.5 million. He's not the starting goalkeeper for Dijon. Um He's the backup goalkeeper, 25 years um, old. He previously worked with our new goalkeeping coach, um, Inaka Kania. And uh, he, as I said, second choice at Dijon. He's Icelandic. He's had five caps for Iceland. And Arsenal said to be very, very interested. Actually, um, it being suggested that he is going to be the player that is going to come in as the replacement. Now, obviously, I am not going to lie. I don't already know a lot about this guy. As a matter of fact, the other yesterday was kind of the first time I've ever heard of of this guy. Um, but he's been identified as the replacement. I mean, the main guy that Arsenal were chasing to replace Martinez was uh, David Gea. Da sorry, David Rea of Brentford. Um, but it looks like this one is not going to happen, or it's definitely dying down. And the real stumbling block is Brentford. They don't want to sell him. Um, 
Raya apparently is very unhappy about it. Even though he's the you know the starting goalkeeper at Brentford, um, he wants to move to Arsenal. And who wouldn't want to move to Arsenal? Even as a goalkeeper, where you're going to be the backup, you know, you're still going to be probably get all the FA Cup games. And you can see how well Arsenal have done in the FA Cup in the past. You're going to get the 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 Carabao Cup games. You're going to get the Europa League games probably. Right again, you'll be playing in Europe. Now, all right, you'll go from playing from Brentford week in week out to, you know, playing in these games not week in week out. But, wow, it's a massive opportunity for a goalkeeper. And Rea wants to move. There were talks that he um, he might hand in a transfer request. But, again, um, will probably cost around about the £10 million mark. And it looks like Arsenal don't want to spend loads of mon um, money on a goalkeeper, want to uh, cash in on the money that they've got from Martinez and use it in other areas. So the Raya thing looking like it might not happen. The number one target for Arsenal, by the looks of it, is this guy, um, Hossim Awa. Um, we know the score on it. Leon want, you know, 60 million euros. That's around about 50 million pounds. Um, I spoke about it yesterday in the poll that we put on Flick. And that poll was, who would you buy? Um, if you could only get one, Hossim Awa or Thomas Partey, 45% um, of you said Awa, 55% Partey. It's fairly close. That's fairly close. You know what I mean? A lot of you guys out there do like Awa. There's a lot of talk that Mikel Arteta is a massive fan of Awa. Remember, Arteta was a midfielder himself um, in a similar ilk, and he would love to get Awa in. Awa, very creative player but also a player that, you know, can, fits the system of what Mikel Arteta is trying to do. He really does fit that system. And uh, it's going to be interesting to see if Arsenal do get their hands on him. Um, it was interesting to yesterday uh, read um, Fabrizio Romano, some of his quotes on it. Uh, he was talking about the fact that um, he really does feel that Arsenal are chasing um Awa. He uh in, in one of his tweets that he put out, he said that um, you know, well, he was talking about he was talking about Thomas Party and Awa, but he said Atletico still refused to any negotiation um for Thomas Partey. He said 50 million euros release clause. So basically they haven't even spoken to Arsenal yet because Arsenal have not met the release clause. And then he said um Olympic Leon have turned down swap deals for Awa. Um, and are still uh, pre pretending um, 60 million euros as the price tag. Top targets, complicated deals. Um, Arsenal now need to sell players, um, but that's the situation. But Awa, if we're going to get this guy, is going to cost a lot of money. If we're going to get Thomas Partey, it's going to cost a lot of money. There's no way out of this one, right? Money is going to be spent, but is that the reason... Why also at the moment are starting to sort of cash in on certain players that maybe, you know, yeah, they don't want to be here. They they maybe want to be elsewhere. And they've got value to them, which is one thing that over the past few years we've not had. We haven't had players that have had a lot of value. Lucas Torreira is another one of them. Lucas Torreira wanted by a host of clubs over there in Italy. Fiorentina said to be the favourites. Arsenal said to be uh, willing to cash in on him as well. It's been interesting that, um, I mean, I'm not sure of the fitness um, status of Lucas Torreira, but when I looked on the, the Arsenal website, he wasn't down as injured, wasn't um, in the squad, didn't figure at all on Saturday. As a matter of fact, the last few games, it's been Mohamed El Nenny who's come in and has been playing in that role, not Torreira. Does look like Arsenal are looking to sell Torreira willing to cash in on him, said to, they've set their price apparently at £22 million. Um, they're also said to be willing to make him go out on loan as long as there's a mandatory um, buy, buying clause at the end of it. That means that once that loan is finished, you have to buy the player. Torreira does look set to be the next player that will be leaving. And as I said, that was really interesting that he's not, you know, not been there in the squad. It's, it's been and then El Nenny that's playing alongside um Xhaka. 
So I think that tells you a lot as well that he could be on his way out. Gwen Doozy hasn't figured, um, despite the the kind words from Arteta and despite him putting, you know, going back to work and stuff like that with Arsenal, he hasn't figured yet. Again, another player that they're obviously looking to to cash in on, and it's going to be very important if you know they're to get the funds in to get either a Owa or a Thomas Partey. Um, and a finally, Abamyang. <laughs> it's done. It's signed. It's just waiting on the announcement. Um, could the announcement be today? Could you be watching this show and saying, oh, Robbie's done. They've announced it, right? I hope so. Um, but it has been signed. Um, best bit of I agree with what Ian Wright said the other day. Best bit of business this summer that Arsenal have done is signing this guy. We saw on Saturday again, world class. He's banging in the goals left, right and centre and will continue to do so. The only thing that stops this guy from scoring goals is his injuries. And touch when he's been injury free as well. Very, very important it was that we signed him and it's done. And it sends a great signal to any potential person wanting to come in. The two, if, if I was a player looking to come into Arsenal right now, I'd be looking at two things. I'd be looking at the manager. Mikel Arteta, and I'll be saying, yep, yeah, tick a box there. Young, progressive, plays good football, knows what he wants, driven. I like that. I'll be looking then next, Abamyang. Wow, I'd love to play with him. He's quality. He's a world-class player. So very important that Arsenal sign him. Had they have lost him this summer, I said right at the beginning of the transfer window, it would have sent a very, very bad signal out there about Arsenal, that Arsenal are still that club, still that club that just cannot keep hold of their best players. Um, at the moment, we're keeping hold of our best players and we're selling players and getting money for them, which is something we haven't done over the past few years. We, when we sold players, they've either gone for next to nothing or they've gone for free. So it is looking up in the transfer market. Um, as I said, don't forget to download the Flick app. The link is in the description. Um, download that app. As I said, there's still that third kit, last day of that, to give away. You can win yourself that. And I want you to vote in today's poll. Were Arsenal right to cash in on Emmy Martinez, who's gone to Aston Villa? Were they right or was that a mistake? Should we have kept hold of him? I would love to hear from you. Please vote in that poll right now. Thanks for watching the show. And I'll be back tomorrow. Robbie here from AFTV. We just got to say a big thank you to everybody who follows us across our various channels. Over a million followers on YouTube. Don't forget, you can now also catch us on Reddit. We're on Reddit, so get involved with us on Reddit and also on TikTok. Keep it AFTV, baby, right here.